Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be about growing beans in containers. So you're looking at our three containers with beans in them. We'll get in a little closer here and we'll talk a little bit about some advantages of beans in, in a container. So these are three 30 gallon grow pots. Um, this is Bureau de Roquencourt there. We have Bartolo bean and French butter wax. And what's nice about these is beans are extremely quick to grow. Um, and as you're gonna see here, they're very high yielding. Um, everywhere you look, there's beans, but those are the grow pots. But take a look at these Bartolo beans, just absolutely loaded. One thing you'll notice when you grow beans is if you just look at the plant from a distance, you, you might think, where are all the fruit? But then when you come in close, you just see them all over the place. They kind of tend to hide in there. Um, these are the Bior de Roquencourt. They're a, like a French, um, they're a French yellow wax bean. Really good, really tender, flavorful, crunchy, as you can hear. And it's fun to munch on them when you're in the garden. Um, but beans are a fantastic thing to grow. They, they Nothing really bothers them. There's, as you can see, there's a few spots where Japanese beetles have, you know, chewed on the leaves here and there, but it's not affecting the plant at all. And these aren't sprayed with anything. So the only thing that's ever put on these is the tomato tone. Uh, it's what I use for the fertilizer. Once in a while, I will use Miracle Grow. So you know, I know people have an issue with that, and that's fine. Um, but the beans really um, don't need a whole lot. These, these this year have just had the tomato tone, and that's it. Here's a look at the Bartolo bean. Um, this is a really cool kind of red streaked bean. And to me, they are I was surprised at how tender they were. I kind of thought they might be kind of chewy because they're pretty large. They sort of remind me of a, a snow pea, actually. Uh, they're really nice, like in a stir fry. We threw them in a hibachi the other day, actually. Um, really nice and crunchy, but also tender. Um, they kind of belie themselves. They look, at, they look like they might be almost like a um, like a drying bean, but they're really, really nice. Now, when they get bigger, they might get a little tougher, I'm not sure, but you can see there's tons of them growing. So Bartolo bean, that's definitely one we'll grow again. These have a, to me, a very noticeable sweetness to them, the Bartolo beans, it's really pleasant. Like I said, a lot like a snow pea, um, and also fantastic in any kind of dish where you'd use a snow pea. But in terms of space, you know, these don't take a lot of room. They're just tucked away in the corner of the garden. Um, they don't ever really need supplemental water, although it has rained a lot this summer, so that's true for pretty much everything. Um, and I just put a whole bunch of bean seeds in this. I don't even know how many plants. There are probably 12 plants in this bucket, in each of these buckets. Um, and they just come up and do their thing. So beans are definitely, definitely something that grows as well in a container as the garden there's really no difference in yield whatsoever and they stay fairly contained the, these are all supposed to be bush plants um, but i put a little cage with them so they can climb here's our harvest just from tonight um, in our box here and of course our um, observer of the harvest pandora but all in all i would say definitely grow beans in containers or in the ground there, there's something that every gardener should grow you get a ton of yield for a small amount of space i mean look at these they're beautiful just one night's harvest is going to be enough for four dinners probably and that will be large portions so thank you for watching and as i said i highly encourage you if you're thinking about it to grow some beans in your garden you won't be disappointed